You meant to wear a bike. I think we're up and running. We are. Welcome to another uh, another episode of Takeover uh, Bachelor of Paradise. Got some very special guests uh, with us this evening. Pretty excited to be here. Uh, who knows what's going to happen on the show tonight, but it's excited to uh, rip into it. Uh, Alexandra Nation, of course, uh, all round legend. No doubt you've uh, you, you've seen her um, on, on the Bachelor Model Mum. Uh, bit of a bit of a, a musical. Uh, well, she's on the on the on the wine tonight, which is fantastic. And, <laughs> oh, um, from uh, well, from, from the uh, the Bachelor realms, uh, Jared Woodgate, mate. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining us. Um, military trained. What's the um? What do you what do you got in the hand there? You're smashing some waters. They're staying hydrated. Uh, I haven't had a drink in two weeks. Dry July. Oh yeah, Jared. That's yeah. great. Wish I could yeah. say the same for myself. <laughs> Homeschooling. <laughs> Homeschooling's rough. Guys. <laughs> yeah. As I'm just like crying myself. Just, just stay sober till <laughs> recess. That's the main rule. That's it. With homeschooling, I think. What's what's mm. been happening today, guys? What do you what have you both been up to? Just excited for Bachelor in Paradise, or what's uh, what's been going on? Absolutely. Well, I homeschooled today, so this is my vice now, just to relax, have a wine, and just watch some trash TV that I was once upon a time on. <laughs> Alex, um, are you just on? Are you on the source at three oh one p.m. Pretty much. I'm on the source at twelve oh one p.m. Kels. <laughs> that's the that's the honest answer. That's, that's- <laughs> Yeah, I, I've heard it's more efficient. Homeschooling, you can get through heaps, heaps more stuff. Oh, yeah. Just one-on-one. I, I'm more motivated. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get them out of here. Pack them up. What about you, uh, you Jared? You've had some, some some lonely birthdays of late. You've been uh, in ISO. What's what's happening? Uh, well, I've been on the winery, so I've just spent the last uh, four or five weeks here straight. Um, and, I mean, it's not a hard place to be stuck at, but uh, I can tell you I what I can't wait say, to. I- I could picture worse places, Jared. Uh, yeah, it's pretty hard. It just means I work more hours and get more yeah. done because uh, there's nowhere to go. Uh, it's just me and the animals, basically. So are you completely alone up there? What's, what's going on? Uh, I've got mum here tonight. He's, uh, she's sitting next to me. There she is. Mm-hmm. Looking Hello. fantastic. Um, I like this wood guy. Other than that, I'm normally uh, here by myself Monday, Monday to Wednesdays. Yeah, mum, mum, can we cook up tonight, or just just come around and check out Bachelor in Paradise? Or what's up? Uh, what's happening? Well, mum and I live together Wednesday onwards, um, so mum just cooked dinner and we just smashed it down, and um, <laughs> we're we're going to do our own personal little goggle box together. <laughs> yeah. I want to know how does mum go watching watching now that. Mum, now that you know what you know, having had your son on a show like this, how do you go watching watching it? Because you'd obviously have the ins and outs. You're privy to what happens on these shows. So yeah. how does it feel for you watching? It's um, it's really it's probably more interesting now that it's really mm. weird, but um, probably a little less stressful. Yeah, because your son's not involved. <laughs> Than it was last time, particularly, mm. uh, yeah, the, the first show. So, mm. um, yeah, it, it's all good now. We can just laugh. And Jared's, yeah. not, Jared's not drinking, but um, I am. Oh, so, she is. Totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> Mum's the drink on hump day. Yeah. A whole new spin off show uh, just with, with <laughs> Mum's on the sauce. She <laughs> <laughs> loves a Riesling. <laughs> Very, very don't we all Darren? don't we all exactly right yeah well, it's just started and um mm. straight into the kieran and renee drama mm. <laughs> oh he's leaving oh yeah he's leaving yeah right Every, he, everyone's leaving hey, i threatened to leave and i got stuck there for another month so <laughs> oh yeah no they really win yeah. You've got to be careful what you are uh, threatening on on reality TV. That's for sure. Yeah, I'm about so thirty pr- seconds behind you guys because I'm on ten play on the app, so um, I'm just okay. I'm on the Actually, lag. The only, the only person I remember walked out of saying they would was Leah. Oh yeah, yes. of course. So well done, Leah. You, yes. Yep. Yeah, you're the only one that's done it. Yeah. Kudos, Leah. Yeah. I just feel like it's so funny because you see them all hugging each other and stuff and it's like everyone knows what's going on, but they all act like they don't. 
And the music makes it bigger like this. Like it's so I know. Cool. It's so curated. Like a guy's going to come out of the woods with a knife. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the producers take you away and they're like, come on, we'll make it better. Stay for 10 more days. Or we could label it. I know what we did last summer. Um, <laughs> <you're not> Hey, oh, boy. No. No, well, my yeah. friend did it the way things were tonight. Like, you know what? I'm sort of done with this. I don't want to do Paradise no more. I'm just going to go home. I thought I'd be doing it. I thought I'd put it in a great place. And be like, yeah, soon. It's all good. But... I do feel sorry for him, though, because you're so, like, vulnerable and your emotions can just get the best of you in these environments. Yeah. I do have feelings for Yeah, but do you think he's got these emotions because he knows he's going to make them out? Or do you think it's... I, I, think, I think it's because he knows what he's done wrong. <laughs> and I don't know, maybe there's guilt there. Maybe he feels stupid. Um, I, well, I think what he's been called out for is huge. Like going, going on to a bachelor or bachelorette and having a girlfriend or boyfriend back at home. That's a she's really good people. Kind of not how the show works. Um, yeah, well, I mean, when we were in Bali, he was telling us how much he was, not much he was trying to get out of the back. Uh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yes. Uh, yes. Oh God, he just looks devastated. Yes, you do. You do want to be here. Yeah, he does. <laughs> well, yeah. So he'll stay with Jess for the night. And Jess will make it all better. Wake up the next day. Someone else will walk in. Someone else will. Someone else always does. <laughs> are we gonna have a? Are we gonna have a wager on how many? Was he right on his side or? Are we gonna what? Say that again. Are we gonna have a wager on how many girls he gets on his side and how many girls he gets off his side? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this. I feel like. He, he, I feel like he's the type of guy to just reel them in. He just reels them in. Um, I hate to say the term, but it's a bit of gaslighting. Yep. Okay. Um, would you agree? Yeah. Uh, look, I mean, he's he's showboating, um, and that's for sure. And he's enjoying yeah. it. Um, I mm. mean, he did leave the Bachelorette uh, with the, the nation loving him. Um, yes. Yes. Part of um, mm. And. Yeah, I, think taking off. Mm. Uh, but I think I think the thing here and you know he said he he says I've owned my shit I've said that I cheated on you I've said this but he said it in a way that kind of he leaves he leaves things out he doesn't tell the whole story oh there's, there's more to it oh there's all there's always more to it there's always more to it I, I honestly I met him in Bali and I <laughs> Uh, mm. There's a lot out there. Oh, there is. And I think people think that they're untouchable and <laughs> that they're safe with their bro code. <laughs> yeah, they're far from that. And at the moment, there is no bro code. Um, yeah. <laughs> look, I liked, I liked him. I don't mind Tim. He's, uh, he's, oh, no, I liked him. I actually have a soft spot for Tim. Yeah, he's just a job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think Tim's intentions are good. Oh, sorry. If, okay. When Jamie talks, can we listen? Because he. Yeah. I love Jamie. So, yeah, it's. Oh, Seriously. Oh no. <gasps> Everyone's gone. 
Oh, Jamie's crying. Oh, no. Those Aussie nets. Oh, Jamie. Jamie, I feel like maybe there was a few wines involved in this conversation. Uh, uh, yeah, well, he's got the red wine in his hand. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> like a married couple. I know, they do. They have this real bromance, Tim and Jamie. Yeah. Oh, Jamie. I do kind of like Jamie, though. I don't know. I have this soft spot. So I was like, I was the stage five cleaner in my season. Yeah. You got the same edit. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie got it as well. And I feel like, like, even when I watched your season and I was like, what are they doing to this man? Like, I just feel like. You know, they put different music over us. Yep. Um, they cut and edit. The they cut, yeah, they cut and change things to put it into different contexts. And I remember seeing your season and going, they're doing the exact same thing, what they did to me, to Jared. I remember thinking, this poor bastard. <laughs> like, you know, we give them the material. That's the We thing. do, of course. And because we're genuine people as well, like, we, we don't, we don't come from a place that is, isn't authentic. We just say how it is and we wear our heart on our sleeves. So they just kind of take our vulnerability and just run with it. <laughs> I, muck around, I muck around with 10 play for a few minutes. I come back and it's a help group for uh, people who have been on reality TV. I love it. Oh. <laughs> it, it, it is. It, it, it amazes me that... Um, you know, we, we've all we've all had moments, I guess, where producers have tweaked certain things and and certain mm. uh, you know ingredients and so forth. But it's always, I agree, it's always a bit upsetting. It's always a bit, uh, always a bit hurtful. Well, I kind of think it's it's one of those things that's actually like I when I saw my edit, it wasn't like I can't believe you've done that to me. It was more for me as someone who was dealing with viewers and trolls. It was more confusing for me to be like. I can't believe these people think that of me when that's just not who I am. And it took me a long time to be like, you know what, why do I care about people that I don't even really know and don't, um, you know, not, they aren't in my atmosphere unless I let them, you know. It was something that I really struggled with because, you know, I came from a place where I'm like, I'm a likeable girl. Like I don't understand why people are <laughs> hating. But, you know, it is something where, like, I did understand the whole concept of, on these shows, you've got a role to play and they pick that role for you. They would give you your character without you even choosing what that is. Oh, 100%. And I think TV can always turn up certain aspects of, of, of totally. reality. And, uh, you know, we, we've all got likeable aspects and we've all, we're all got unlikeable aspects. Did, unlikeable. Yeah, that's right. So, you know, that, that's what makes it human and rounded in real life. But, you know, if you amplify the, the likeable stuff, you're a legend and everyone thinks you're, you know, a king or a queen. If you amplify yeah. the shitty stuff, then, you know. But, it's better TV. <laughs> you're, you're an idiot on uh, on Instagram the next day, yeah. Mm. Mm. It's, a weird, it's a weird bubble anyway. What have I missed? <laughs> what's going on in, in, in Bib tonight? What, what's uh... – Okay, so Jamie's crying. Yeah. Jamie's upset because 
Tim's leaving. They've got a bromance. Uh-huh. And he does not want Tim to leave him. So Jamie's really, really upset. Okay. But it's because, like, Jamie's like his, um, I think Jack, he relies on Jamie to build him up and pep him up and um, have guy. his back. Yeah, and it's kind of like that's his comfort blanket. You know, I think we all have our comfort person. Yeah. In in these shows, like if it's The Bachelor or The Bachelorette or Bachelor in Paradise, would you agree, Jared? You've got your person, that's your comfort person. My comfort person when I was there was Jake. Yes, Jake's a legend. Yeah, because we were we were actually roomies, so yeah. um, uh, we spent a lot of time together and we were there to the end together, so it was pretty yeah. cool and just build a bond with somebody. Yes, and yes. It, it, they can see how you're reacting to something or if something's upsetting you, they feel yourself. Mm. And, mm. you know, yeah. Um, and you definitely need that. that you do. Uh, inside. I mean, mum, I'm not going anywhere. It really gets you. Yeah. My comfort person was Alicia. <laughs> I suppose it's a big part of keeping it's a big part of keeping sane as well, having someone there with you to uh, mm. you know. Just so you just someone you can download to. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Oh, they're going again. I mean you get a lot of downtime when you're there. Um, and it's yeah. it's I mean you don't know what to do with yourself. Mm. You're in your own head a lot of the time. <gasps> oh yeah, because Brit's with Tim and Tim hasn't said anything to it. Oh. Oh Jamie. <laughs> Yeah. I need to speak to you. Can you try getting the steak, please? Can you try getting the steak? I'll try. If you drink the 10% on your first year's premium, when you can get Allianz. Oh, it'll all be fine. I'll take the responsibility for playing a few parts in the drama. Yeah, he'll stay. He'll stay for sure. Oh, cradle me. Tickle my head. Love me. <laughs> Sorry, hang on. Do they still need to get this? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. This is the moment where I realised I really had feelings for him because when he said I'm going home, I realised that he wanted to be here without him. I threatened to walk like twice. <laughs> you do. I've had a couple of times to get that courage. Yeah. 
and yeah, yeah, yeah. just hold you back and just yeah, yeah. that's it what what why do you what's with the um the threat to leave is it just a good no, no, it's not even – well, it's not even tactic. It's kind of you get a bit sourced, you have a few drinks, your emotions are high, your logic is low, and then you're like, you know what, stuff this, I'm out. And it's your it's it's when you feel like you've got some sort of power. I don't need you. I don't need yes. this. It's some element of control. Guys. Yeah. It is. It's like, you know what, I'm going to take the control back here and you're like, I'm going, I'm out, stuff you all. And then, I don't know. Somehow you reeled back in. <laughs> do they get a bit of money, or how do they stop you from leaving? Is there any punishment for leaving, or no? You can you can, leave. you can leave. You can leave at any time. Yeah. I think it's kind of like the producers will sit you down and um, they'll give you a lot of pros and like pros to stay, like why you should stay. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know that's why they're producers on reality TV shows. They're very good at their job. Yes. <laughs> Jamie here leave. He's doing a Leah. And Tim hasn't even left yet. Oh, and does he not know that Tim's just having a nap? He's going to bed. Turn around, Jamie. He Tim. hasn't even left. Oh. oh, God. Are they all just having a laugh about it and just letting it go? Or? This is like me. <laughs> Even the producers don't know where they <laughs> where Jamie's and there's cameras everywhere. <laughs> oh, I loved him. He was one of my producers, and I really loved him. Yeah. Oli, did you have Oli? Hey, <laughs> look at him carrying his his luggage. <laughs> oh, Jamie. oh, bless Jamie. I I have such a for Jamie. Yeah, I've had a FaceTime with him while I was in Darwin, and. Uh, He's so funny. Oh, my God. oh, he's awesome. I love him. Oh, this is Alicia. This is my girl. Hi, girl. <laughs> so these guys are not even from the Bachelor franchise. No, no, they're just random. They're shoo-ins. Day to day guys. Oh! Um, wow. See, I would have liked that on my season. Yeah, but it's very weird. Why? Did they not have enough contestants for the recent shows that they've all done? P potentially, because I know when it was my season, so many people declined the opportunity. Yeah, okay. Well, so maybe people people didn't want to go on. Yeah, well, that's probably wrong. It changed mm. back to... Because oh. <laughs> I feel like that I feel like it it changes the whole dynamic of the show. Chucking in three dudes that aren't from. Because are they going to chuck in women as well that aren't from the season? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, that's what I mean. I don't know. I mean, Sex, if they don't, you can't just chuck in the dudes and not chuck in some, some women too. That's that's what I thought. Surely right. there's going to be some shoo-in cheeky babes as well. I mean, how good would that be if you've got all these uh, all the girls there that have the personality for the TV and then you get three randoms that nobody knows mm. and they're just as bitchy and feisty as the ones that are already on the island. <laughs> yeah. so they don't know nothing about them. Like, mm. Yeah, so it's a it's a pretty it's a pretty bold move actually. I feel sorry for the um, for the newbies for the reason being that the people that are on this show have done this before. 
and they know how it works. They know how to play it. They know, you know, they know the whole the whole kit and caboodle. So for these these new guys, God, they're also going to upset. They're going to upset the uh, equilibrium too of what was, yes. what they got comfortable with. They're going to throw a, a spanner in the works. That's for sure. Mm. I think spanner in the top nine. I think uh, having the three newbies uh, is going to be good because you think about it. If you go to a party and you know no, no one at that party except for the one person that invited them, don't you make a menace of the night? Don't you just go? Absolutely. You go even harder. I know that's mm. right. I'm a stranger. Yeah, I would you do the same. Have the old of the whole island just to go rogue and do anything, yeah. and they'll get. Mm. So. And there's and there's three of them, so they'd be sticking together and being like, "All right, boys." Yeah. <laughs> the boys. The boys. Oh man. Man, yeah, that'd be good. Um, <laughs> that would be so good. I like Poppy Nine. But I mean, what if you've got? Um, yeah, the guys with the girls don't want to have a relationship with someone on the show and experience. Oh, cool. see, I, I, I would be that chick. I don't. I have always said I don't think, from my experiences, I'd prefer not to date someone from the franchise. But then it's also like this funny thing, like you don't want to. I, I do say that, and then you meet people that are from the franchise, and they get you in a di completely different way. Yeah. And you can connect with them on a completely different level to people that um, have no idea what you've gone through or experienced. Yeah. So it's kind of, I don't know, there's pros and cons for both, I suppose. Because, well, you're dating someone from the franchise. Well, not yeah, Yes, I am, but not really from the franchise. She was in for like a day. I know. That's what I mean. She doesn't actually understand. Still counts. Still counts, Jad. Yeah. yeah. It still counts. Any... um. Any regrets from what happened? Anything you did or any regrets from the show? I don't, I don't know who's going to go first here, but uh, we can we can I've, share. We can open I've, up. I've got no regrets whatsoever. Um, <laughs> I don't have I don't have any either. Uh, would you do well, anything I, different going back? Would you do anything different? No, well, I wouldn't. Where I am today, if I changed it, <laughs> that's, mm, right. that's right. I, I wouldn't have met Sam in Bali, and I wouldn't be with her today yes. if. If I had not done the Bachelorette and then Bachelor in Paradise and then mm. gone to Bath because I need a holiday, and then I end up with Sam. So yes, change now. Fez Lee's Fez Lee's um a poet and he didn't even know it. They're getting a bit fresh on uh, on Facey. I think they're Alex. Yeah, you look like a mummy. Uh, but... <laughs> Yummy. All right, look at it. Are you reading the comments? Yeah, it's got the comments. I, I can't I can't see the comments. <laughs> no, no, is, no, um, no, no, is, no. Uh, yeah. Can you read out a few? Well, I mean that's the main one there from Fez. I mean, grammatically he might need a bit of homeschooling. Yes. Okay. He's sort I'll of be, I'll be a teacher, Fez. Are and were uh, right next to each other, which is grammatically not great, but I think it'd have to be homeschooled by you with maybe a couple of wines after 3 p.m. I think so. He's still 36 and lives at home with his garage. <laughs> <laughs> He's keen for detention, I think. He's very uh, naughty boy. I mean, wearing my glasses. <laughs> Uh, I'm stoked. I reckon that's a fantastic way to live and great to know you guys. I've got zero regrets and uh, wouldn't change a single thing um, of your experiences. It's, uh, it's very cool. Yeah, I think everything happens for a reason and every moment leads you to this one. So zero regrets. Love it. <laughs> um, so I, need to, I need to clarify something. Um, Sam just sent me a message saying I can do it. Is it no, to me? No, this is to me. Oh. You guys can't believe you I don't understand you. Uh, tear face. Uh, no, we're she, saying she does. No, what? No, okay, no. It's not that you understand me. She doesn't. Um, she understands me, but as in, I don't need someone that understands the show because yes. I don't want to have that much time. So I'm yes. separating my my romance that I have now from my mm. TV life back in the day. You've compartmentalised. Exactly. So, baby, I love you, and yes, you do understand. We love you. Yeah. <laughs> What was the um? What was the sort of uh, recalibration time for you guys after coming off a, a show like this, coming off Bachelorette, coming off Bachelor, getting back to reality, getting back to yourself? Was there like a bit of a bit of a high and then a and then a low, then back to sort of normal, or what was the get back to 
you know, reality I, time frame. I don't, I don't know the time Jared was on um, Bachelorette, but I was in the house for three, nearly three months. Mm. And then you come off and if you probably... guys are still coming back to reality, that's fine as well. That's a good answer. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm still being brought back to Earth here. <laughs> um, but I think it's like it took me a few years to actually be able to recenter myself after this. Yeah. Especially after The Bachelor. I went on Paradise knowing who I was as a person and not really giving a shit what people thought about me. Because my, my season was nearly four and a half years ago and then I was on Paradise last year. So for me, Paradise was a way of saying this is who I am and I like who I am and I'm going to show you who I am. Because it took, it, after The Bachelor, it took me a few years to actually be like back to normal. Oh, no, Alicia. Hey. There she is. This is my girl. <laughs> she was my roomie last year. What's she like? Amazing. Yeah, she's a legend. She is smart. She's intelligent. She's beautiful. She's witty. Yeah. She's quick. She's so quick. Just a catch, an all-round catch. She, no, she is. She's an absolute catch. Sweetest person. Like I would date Alicia. I'm pretty sure I told her that too. She probably, she probably heard the yeah. yeah. Is she a good kisser? I don't kiss and tell. <laughs> we'll chuck a quick trick question in here. We get a fishing. <laughs> what was the um? What's the aftermath of going on on a on a reality show? Obviously, it's a pretty intense ride. Is it? You know, was it a couple of months? Was it? You know, a while to sort of get that that sense of yourself back post. Um, yeah, to be honest, it took a while. I think once I started getting to um, back to red and then not thinking when I went on the show, um, I'd be there. So um, at last in two months on the show, I've kind of it puts a different perspective on, on who you meet. Oh, and the first date. Yeah, obviously it gets to you. So because I had the first date with Sophie Munch, it kind of... It, it got to my head and therefore I walked in the house thinking that yeah, big chest, big shoulders, I've got this. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, but it's just a whole opener. And living um, when you've got both personalities that are the same show, it, kind of, it just heightens the relationship. I couldn't imagine so because obviously Richie was an everyday guy like he was on The Bachelorette but he was still like you know his profile wasn't that of sorts of like Sophie Monk so going going on being a contestant for someone of such a profile I feel like that would change the dynamics so much Oh, it does, big time, because one wants to stay in the light or... Mm, um, yes. But the other just wants to get on with life and work and... Oh, it's yeah. That balance. Yeah, 100%. And because I've always said um, you were probably one of maybe three genuine dudes on that season. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you could tell and you could really, that really, um, you could see that. Um, yeah, thank you. You're so welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, Glenn and Alicia. To this day, I mean, you're still getting people out of the street or um, like we get people out of the winery here. They'll still ask mm. It's like really weird. Yeah, it's, it's weird, like, isn't it? When they, have, when they say, oh, can I get a photo? It's like I grab the phone thinking I'm meant to take Yeah, I'll take a photo of you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't know of you with us. <laughs> yes, I know. That's so funny. Uh, that's so funny. But that's no, because, like you know, you're a humble person, I think. Um, it, it's still weird for me. It's still a weird thing. What What are they? They just ask for a picture or do they come back to a particular line, Jared or Alex? Are they sort of, you know, like, oh, like my friend would be, you know. In- well, sometimes you'll be in restaurants and people will literally be doing this. <laughs> yes. And you can see them, and you're like, 
I can see you trying to take photos of me eating my dinner. Just come talk to me. I'll literally have a conversation with you for 20 minutes. I know. It's bizarre what people will go to, the links they go to, photo with you without having to talk to you. Yes, Um, it's bizarre. like putting people in the, on the spot. Like, oh, if I see them doing it, I'll just go up to them and say, do you want a photo? I'm like that too. Just to freak them out a little bit, but then they have a giggle and a laugh and they're happy. Mm. Oh, yeah, because I'll be like, we, I'll be like you, oh, you can come talk to me. It's fine. I won't bite. Yeah, and I'll be like, oh, exactly. and they kind of all freak out. But I feel like when you're trying to have dinner with someone and there's people are sitting there, like, oh, it's so uncomfortable. Yeah, it is uncomfortable because they're they're invading your space and you know that... <laughs> yes. Like you see it happening in the corner of your eye and it's just like, this isn't... It's, it's <laughs> asking you can move on. Yes, 100%. <laughs> and I'm always up for a yarn. Um, but I always get, I always seem to talk because, I mean, if you get people willing to come up to you and ask for a photo, you're going to take that time <laughs> to at least give them some time of day and talk to them about it and... Because they have a lot of questions for us, which is weird. They'll oh, ask yeah. the internet, oh, yeah. what goes on? Are you still here? Are you still with that person? And basically it's, well, if they ask the right questions, then you're, you're wanting to give them that, uh, the right yeah, answer. for sure. For sure. Um, and sometimes it takes people alcohol to get to their courage <laughs> to get a photo. So. It's a weird world. It is a weird world. And I think if they're genuine as well, it sort of it breeds that same genuineness from you. You hear stories about some celebrities just snapping at kids at a restaurant saying, go away with my family or, you know, horrible sort of stories. Oh, my God, no, I have one of those stories. <laughs> and shame and shame. Russell, Russell Crowe. Oh, he's a bit grumpy, though. I was 18 years phone, old. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> I was 18 years old yeah. and it was at Circular Quay in Sydney. Anyway group of people there was um, st- um street performers and he was there with his rabbit o's hat don't wear your freaking rabbit o's hat if you don't want to get noticed then you're yeah. clearly russell crowe and he was with mates and stuff two, two guys i was 18 fangirling hard gladiator is one of my most favorite films i go up to him and i go oh, are you russell crowe didn't ask him for a photo didn't ask for an autograph i just wanted to confirm that it was him and anyway Excuse my French. He goes, fuck off, young lady. <laughs> I. What an so asshole. What, yeah, so, and because I, my pride was hurt, and I'm a Leo, so if you hurt my pride, well, it's all over Red Rover. So what did I do? The top of my lungs, and my brother was so embarrassed. I go, everyone, it's Russell Crowe. <laughs> and his mate, two mates he was with were laughing and shaking their head, and he just stormed off and went off with his friends. Yeah. So, well, Russ, if you're listening. Well, <laughs> I mean, he's probably one of the number one fans of TakeOver on a Wednesday. I'd imagine Russ is uh, oh, absolutely. having a bit of a look. Yeah. yeah. We're on for sure. Yeah. Russ is, Russ is going to slide into my DMs and apologise <laughs> at Alexandra Nation. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> but I think, yeah, 90, 90% of people are genuine and nice, but you do have the, the one or two outliers that are complete just um, assholes and, uh, like that. F off, young lady. Yeah, that's what he said. Obviously, I couldn't believe it. You're holding on to it, so I think you need to let it go now. I have held on to that. For a long <laughs> For over 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just oh. whisper- I'm doing it now. <laughs> Osha's taking her to meet the three lads. Is this cool? You were a robot then, Jared. You'll have to repeat uh-huh. what you just yeah, said. You lost, you lost your sound there, brother. Oh, really? Oh, good. Okay. I was just saying, that isn't Glenn a good looking dude? Oh, I guess he is. I so rate Glenn fine. a lot. So him, him and I were mistaken. I thought I was him. No, you do look really similar. You do. But also same demeanour, like kind of like a little bit coy, but yeah. but but also but also confident as well. Um, and he's kind of got that real gentleman, gentle yeah. nature. He's, yeah, you can tell he's just got, he's very gentle and respectful. And I haven't heard him say one bad thing about anyone. 
or or anything derogatory or anything about the women or anything. So I really I really like that. He wouldn't say f off, young lady. No, he absolutely Never. wouldn't. <laughs> Never, under any circumstance. No, Eat Russell Crowe, that's for sure. No, absolutely not. Gentlemen, I'm for me. I'm shocked. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing is, no one has ever seen these guys before. Um, so apparently last night you did Jim Carrey. <laughs> Do you want to see it? I need to see this. All right, so Jim Carrey, he's like my whole pass. He's like, if I ever get married and I meet Jim Carrey, he's someone I get to whole pass be with Jim Carrey. Okay. So really? think of the Gr yeah, think of the Grinch. Ready? Yeah. Is that not Jim Carrey? That's Jim Carrey. Bad. Is that the but I've had, but I've had, I've had Botox, so I'm surprised my eyebrow can actually. Still working. Still working. I thought that was a I thought that was a teaser to the into into the impersonation. Was that the whole thing? Was oh my it... god! I don't have. There's so much I could do, but <laughs> I, I, I think I think I need to have a few more red wines. Yeah. No, it's just that just the one look. It's just the one look. That's he only really has the one look, doesn't he? Give, it, give us once more. Mm. Give us one more look at it just with that. Yeah, I'll put anyway. Give it the full screen up. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not Jim? <laughs> <laughs> am I am I am I not female Jim? Yeah. Ah, okay. oh, f off, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a little. There is. A, I reckon it's like forty percent. Oh, I'm getting a photo off of my phone. I'm gonna. Forty percent Jim Carrey. I wouldn't say. No, it. no, no. It's not a dead ringer. It's not. It's it, not well, a, I I kind of don't want to be a dead wrong. ringer of Jim Carrey. You know. Yeah, if you didn't tell us, I don't think Jared or I would have guessed that was Jim Carrey. I think we, we could be here till 10 p.m. guessing who it was. If you didn't tell us. Hey, I look. Wait, hang on. Oh, can you see that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, can next time, can you somehow paint your first book? Uh, and my hair as well? Yeah. You know what? For you, forty-five percent. I reckon forty-five percent. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? That's a high percentage for someone that's not Jim Carrey or the Grinch. <laughs> it's not someone bad. that has the someone that has red hair and porcelain white skin. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know no. what? You look like you look like one flew over the cuckoo's nest. It is. Good. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, Jack Jack Nicholson. His hair's like that. Jack Nicholson. Yeah. His hair in that movie. His hair's like. <laughs> Yes, he's, he's a psycho in that movie. Oh, I love that movie. It's fantastic. Yeah, he's a loose unit in that. See, who are these boys? Uh, yeah. These are the randoms? Yeah, these are the randoms. Okay, it's Ali, hmm. who, do you, who would you go for out of these three just from first glance? Face value? Yeah, or height. Uh, I'm quite tall. Yeah. So, face are you him? He, him, probably. Yeah. Which one? He, him. I like his vibe. Yeah. I actually really like his vibe out of the three. Get off the beers. <gasps> oh. Although I did. Oh. Oh, she's just too besotted by Glenn. <laughs> Lenny Wood, yes. Yes, Glenn. We we ship Alicia and Glenn. Oh, <laughs> I'd be thinking about Glenn too, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. I've got a conversation. I'm definitely having a conversation with him. Oh, why am I so horny for Glenn? Yes, Alicia. 
<laughs> they're yeah. so good. They would make a beautiful. They'd make beautiful babies. Oh, absolutely, wouldn't they? Absolutely. Oh, poor Glenn. Well, we just no. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what was no, I think it's all good. Mum, what did you say? You were no. going to get, uh, get mum involved. Yeah, well, we were just trying to find out. Mum's just like, um, when's a certain person coming in? So we weren't Oh, here. Kira. <laughs> Are we allowed to talk about that or? No, so, okay, so I'll talk about my experience first because Joe's is more significant and I'll ease, ease the edge. Um, <laughs> Kira and I didn't see eye to eye in my season. She was on my oh, season. Of, um, I just think, you know, Kira is very, uh, how do I put this? She's kind of, she's very entitled, has a high opinion of herself. Um and it was kind of, it was one of those things where she would project her negativity onto you because it was a projection of herself. And I'm not afraid to say that. I've said that to her. Um, yeah, she seemed a bit just, spicy. She seemed a bit fiery. She was, she was a very spicy meatball. Her and I did not see eye to eye in the house at all. Yeah. Not your type of dish. No, like, and, but then she'd do these really sweet things to redeem herself. And I'd be like, you know what? I want to give this girl a chance because it was like she'd, she would do these crazy things and then she'd do these really lovely things. And it's kind of like, yo, yo, Kira, like, how do I keep up with this? Um, you, and then in the end, we've all got people like that in our family that you've got to put up with, but no, you but don't you, do, do you don't it. choose your family. <laughs> and you don't choose um, by the sounds either. Yeah, and then, like, post-show, like, obviously, you know, I came out as bisexual and then I liked women as well, and she was like, just pick a sex. You're not really bisexual. And she kind of, like, really shit on my identity, and I did not appreciate not very, that. Not very no, very No, and I kind of called her out on that and said, you know what, this is not what you do. I hope you grow from this. Um, but, no, Kira and I... <laughs> but, Jared, you told <laughs> <laughs> it's really, it's really, relatively you. succinct and uh, all-encompassing, Alexander. It's yeah. <laughs> any, any sort of binary thinking like that is is so um so archaic and dated and, and just yes, you know, I know. And it's even, it but it's also even like, what game do you get even saying something like that for a headline? Like, how does that make you feel good? Saying something like that about an individual, even for a headline, like people that use that for their own personal gain in such a way, I think it says more about them than it does about you. So, yeah. yeah. And, and that's why it's the best thing, the best uh, return uh, message to anything that comes out of the media is absolutely nothing. Mm. Yeah, that's um, right. What's been said in the lie, the truth, the hope, uh, um, mm, you just don't feed it. You don't feed it. You don't because feed the bullshit. That's what I learned. I learned that my mm. first round I didn't learn the second time around I learned and I just kept mm. my mouth shut with you and um, yeah let's just say I feel better now because I understand where everything was going um, you can't because the thing is at the end of the day as long as especially like you know I've gone just like you have I've gone through a very public um, breakup as well with Richie it's kind of one of these things where you know you know what's right, you know what happened, you know the ins and outs of it, and the people that love you and care about you, they understand it and they get it. So whatever everyone else wants to say and carry on about, it doesn't matter. <laughs> not our problem, is it? That's exactly right. Um, but, I don't, but I don't know if she's coming in. Is she coming in tonight? I feel like she might be. Um, or is it a pre? Is it a preview for, to, for next week? Well, I think it's... Maybe Sunday. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, she's an intruder, but they're they're pushing. Mm. Yeah, because she, announced intruder. Well, because yeah. she's a big she's a big name, like she's a big personality, and this is her second time, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. So, so I think they're um, 
because people, when people think Bachelor, there's like maybe five names that people think of. It's Jared, Kira, <laughs> Sophie Monk, Alex Nation, all the Sage Five Clingers, all of the controversial characters is who they yeah. think of. So I think that's, I think that's why they're pushing the whole Kira thing. What was um? What was your experience? Obviously, you got a bit of an idea from uh, Alexandra there, Jared. But what was your experience in a nutshell? We can use metaphors. We can use analogies. We don't have to, you know, get too specific. I'm going to say it was probably a lesson. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a bit of homeschooling. If it was a homeschool lesson, um, what what sort of things would you would you would you teach a kid from your time with Kira? Uh, well, if I was in grade six, I'd probably tell my mum to send me back to grade one. <laughs> And let me learn all over again. <laughs> uh, yeah, just get those, uh, get those years it's back, eh? It's quite interesting that the amount of shit my family probably uh, saw behind the scenes uh, in my situation, uh, they didn't like one little bit, but uh, it's, yeah. yeah. But I think when you're blinded by love and feelings, you kind of don't see what's happening. I think, I, and then... And because you you find, you know, connection and love on these shows, you, you stay in that bubble for so long in your mind. Yep. And it, it's almost like you wake up one day and you go, oh, shit, hang on. This, this actually isn't, this isn't boring. what I want. Yeah. It's exactly what I did, Alex. That's, that's what happened. I woke up one morning, mm. what this life is actually not my lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, I just, I don't, like, because... I mean, when, you, when you're going two different parts and then you realise that the other person does that group. Yeah. Um, and it's also also a learning curve for everyone, of really. Of course, it, it is. And even for, you know, I feel like everyone serves their purpose in your life, their lessons, their blessings, and they're both, you know? Yeah. So I think that's just how it is. I think it's part of, of growth as a human being as well. You totally. Someone a bit. You're so in love with and blindly in love with, and maybe your friends and your family are going, "What are you? What are you doing? Mm. This is madness. Mm. Get out of there!" But you need to go mm. through that to grow. Totally, or, or, and it's like that doesn't necessarily mean like that person's a bad person. Like I'm not even I'm not saying Kira's a bad person. She's just not my cup of tea. But it's just like sometimes you can you could you don't see that someone's not right for you because <laughs> yeah. you're blinded by so many other factors. Yeah, and you 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 know you, you want to make it work, I guess. You you know. Yes. Mm. You believe it can work, and it's just not not a, not the uh, the perfect match. Totally. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> Who's Alex? Alex. He is Oh my gosh. Do you know Alex, Alex? No, I follow him on Insta. <laughs> yeah. But I don't, I've never met Alex. I don't know Alex. He seems lovely though. They all, they all love their tats, don't they? Yes. The girls are going crazy for him, that's for sure. I'm just said he looks like a fucking great guy out. He looks like a what? Ma Mum. <laughs> I'll, I'll come up to Gippy, Mum. <laughs> now when you see Alex, all you'll be thinking about is Russell Crowe and telling you. I... Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. What do you think of him now, Alex? He can get effed. <laughs> 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 oh no, he's pretty cute. Oh, there's just there's more bromance than actual romance. He's he's Jesus. He's not very tall. No, he he doesn't look tall at all. Well, um, obviously Renee uh, is Sam. Yes. So I got to we got to spend um, three months living together, all us and down, uh, and mm. uh, we were all hoping to wait for the show to come out. So we called together. Of course. 
<laughs> I feel like from what I've heard, she's a beautiful girl. She is. She's a beautiful human. Every, yeah, everyone speaks really highly of Renee. She's um. Oh my god! Look at her coming in with all these men. What was the what was the process of filming like for you guys? Was it um, in what was, respect? It un, unrelenting. What was the um? How you was know it? what? It was pretty chilled out compared to the Bachelor. Or I would say, you reckon it was more chilled out? Absolutely. Uh, there was there was definitely elements of um, pressure. Like if if the producers knew that there was drama or things going on, they'd hone in on it. But yeah. it was actually super chill and fun and, like, I I loved it because I made so many friends and I took away those friendships. Like, even though I ended up with a dude that didn't work out again, um, the friendships dipped. <laughs> there's pl plenty of downtime just to, 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 to talk and, and – Well, there's, cam there's cameras on all the time. Like, you kind of get up, you have breakfast, cameras start rolling at, like, 10-ish or maybe sometimes a little bit earlier, but there's usually cameras on you. But the actual environment is a lot more relaxed. So breakfast, no cameras, you're just relaxing and then yeah. you clock but there's No, but there is cameras everywhere. They're hidden in trees. So you'd be, like, doing something and then all of a sudden you'd see a camera go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was, like, it was a bit like Big Brother spec with that. Yeah. So there's some fixed cameras and then some yes. camera guys? Yeah. Yeah. And it just gets intense after 10, but there's always someone watching. Yes. Yes. And it's like, and, and like um, once everyone's a bit sourced at like 3 p.m. <laughs> yeah, no, just wasted, wasted at, uh, you know, 3 o'clock. <laughs> that's when they start rolling your drama on the, on the gas. Uh, yeah, that's right. Did you ever get cut off, Alex? No, but Brittany did a lot. <laughs> I had other people putting their marking my name down every time they got a drink. Yes, yeah, so then you, because you, I was a slow drinker, so people did the same thing with me. They're like, "Oh, it's for Alex." Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm cut off and just sit up. Drunk. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not drunk. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you chuck a little tanty because you're like, "Well, we got to film for another four hours. I just want another drink." Yeah, I know it sucks, but Brittany, Brittany was always cut off. Uh, this pretty. Yes. Yeah. Is that because you get a quota or she was just cooked? Yeah, well, because you can have two per hour, but if you're sneaky and you get you your friends to get you. The island? Yeah, I but, know. But if you get, like, friends to go up and, like, get you a drink onto their name, then you can drink a fair bit because there's about, you know, there's 15 of you. <laughs> yeah, 30, 30 drinks so, an hour. So there's, there's, there's a way to get around it. <laughs> there's always a way. Oh, there's yeah. A way. When there's a will, there's a way. But when you make friends with the barman. Oh, yeah. The barman's doesn't, were the best. Doesn't Weiss. get marked off. Weiss. It's Weiss. No, what's his name? Weiss. Weiss. There yes. It is. Yes. Weiss Bar. Yeah, they were the best. Oh, he's talking about his relationship with me again. Yeah. 
I love him. Why is your guy? Because he's definitely on. Oh, here she goes. Oh! Can't oh, wait for their eyes. I know. I don't want to talk to you anyway. They're so cute. I've been thinking about the way. How are you? Yeah, I'm really good. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting to know you a little bit better. I was like, I've been taken aback by you. I was like, yeah. I was like, I'm like, who's that one? Jeez. Can they be my parents? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute. That's super cute. It's drama, but now it's all puppy dubby stuff. I know, but then it'll be like, I feel like they'll show this side of it, and then like next week it will be like, dun dun dun. Oh, isn't there a rose ceremony tonight? Yes. And the girls have the power. Yes. Ooh. I know. We've got thirty minutes to go. Ooh. How how funny was it when you'd like go into your burets and you'd be getting ready for a rose ceremony and you'd have to wait for ages. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you yeah, have to go up. Say that again. Get your kit on, get your makeup. Oh, yeah, set. yeah, get all dolled up. And but like you were literally maybe four meters away from each other because the boys were behind. And so you'd be sneaking in to try and see the person that you were. <laughs> like, you're giving me my rose, right? Like, I'm getting your rose. <laughs> What's she calling Greg? Yes. <laughs> Andrea, Greg, Greggy boy, Greg, Andrea, Greg. She's lost focus. Absolute Greg. <laughs> oh. Oh no, okay, so full disclosure, everyone got sick. Everyone was vomiting, everyone was on the toilet all the time. We called it Fiji Belly and it was horrendous. Has everyone caught the uh, Fiji Belly? Oh my God, it was so it's bad. Disgusting. It's disgusting. I think I was the only one on our, our episode, our season that didn't get it. Oh, it was awful. You can be honest, Jared. If you got it, mate, we're not. We're, we're, oh we're no! Over now, you can be honest, mate. If you, if you. Jared's been in the military. I feel like he's got an iron stomach. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in the stomach for that. It's just, I mean, oh. they, they were all just doing things they shouldn't have done, eating food yeah. for too long, uh, sharing water bottles, drinking the tap water, swallowing the tap water from. It's not. It's not drinkable. That's why. No, they you don't drink the tap water. That's why they give you the water bottles. Ours, ours was the food, though. The food, sometimes, you know, you'd be starving and they'd leave the food out 
for lunch for a few hours. And so you'd go up to the food and pick at it. Yeah. yeah. And then everyone got sick doing that. Yeah. You get back from a date and the fish is still on the table. Oh! So, kind of while we've got the runs, we just drank a bit of tap water, ate a fish oh, from yesterday. Oh, God. Gonna, yeah. A lot of us got romance. so sick. Seeing someone run to the bathroom. It was terrible. It wasn't. It's not nice because then you've got to. No. Well, it's you've got to share the room. Yeah. Yeah. It's a vulnerable vulnerable place to be. It is. And and the and the showers are outside. I have the showers. I like the outside. But when you're sick. Oh, not so good. Yeah. So when like so, I got sick. And the showers are outside and all the bureau's showers are outside. So you can hear everyone showering. So I remember being in the shower, just hunched over, just, Aah! and I'd hear, Nation, are you okay? And I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> it, was so, Fine. <laughs> it was like the boys, you could hear the boys from their bureau going, Nation, are you all right? And I'm like, Aah! yeah. <laughs> it was so bad. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it was awful. You're with oh. someone and you're both going through that or you oh. one sick and one of you isn't. You've experienced that in a relationship early on. I mean, you're yeah. doing pretty yeah. well if you survive. Absolutely. Uh, good for shredding, though. A couple of oh, yeah. Of, uh, Sh- shredding for paradise. Oh, let's drop the water weight. Mm. You know, summer bodies are made with, with uh, That's... a bit of food poisoning. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> That's it. Check You'll be right. Oh no, that BG Valley was horrendous. Ooh. Uh, it just, I don't know. You just gotta be so mind. Even now, you've got to sanitize with your hands. You've got oh to mask. yeah. I mean. Oh not- yeah, everyone in Victoria, if you're listening, masks as of tomorrow. Yeah, Compulsory. Did not. Yeah, you guys going fashion, fashionable ones, medical ones? Have you have you worked out? I've got the full Bane mask. <laughs> so mine, yeah, so mine has like the little, um, it's like a Cambridge mask and it has a little breathing filter thing. I've gone full Bane. Now you may die. <laughs> <laughs> we've, got, we've got patches of New South Wales where you've got to wear them, but uh, nothing. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, there's a couple of hot spots where it's um i feel like you guys are gonna be where we are though yeah there's is, is a you, you, of, you is guys it. have been laughing at victoria going oh those dickheads no, yeah. they no, haven't been no, doing the right no, thing I and agree. then now you I guys agree. are gonna be locked down yeah. there's a there's a smugness you know in new south Wales. yeah there has been and then, um, you know, then we're like, we've, got eight, we've only had eight, now we're at 16. And so mm. yeah. You guys are cut off from the bar soon, I think. We, uh, we, we are you guys two weeks ago, pretty much. Yeah. Invincible. Smuggling. Oh, no, that's, no that's, that's, that was me. I'm like, we've got this. Yeah. I'm going out to restaurants. I'm going out to a bar and having a drink. No, <laughs> we are locked down. <laughs> we've, been, we've been Russell crying along. We'll we're, yeah, <laughs> everyone's been Russell crying. <laughs> yeah, thinking we're... Where the shit, and then yeah, it's yeah, good. yeah. We'll, be, we'll be joining you guys in uh, in stage yeah. three, and well, yeah. I mean, up in Gippsland, you can have to go to restaurants. We can go to pubs. Um, I just need to get across the border, Jared, and you can have me and my son stay up there in the little. I can see there's a little top bit. I, I can stay there. Room. There's a guest room there. There's a guest room for sure. A little upstairs part. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah, that's that's me. That's a bit of me up there. Mum, is that okay, Mum? <laughs> you, you get under the stairs. I've got a little Harry Potter room for you two. I'll work too. Has Mama Woodgate got anything she can say about um, Jared on, um, the, you know, any secrets or any, any family things you can share with us? It's probably plenty. Probably <laughs> plenty. <laughs> You clearly haven't lived with Sarah. <laughs> As a mother, though, it would have been so hard to watch. I feel like, obviously, you know, you'd watch it and be proud and, you know, all the rest, but seeing what your child goes through, regardless of age, they're still your child. As a mum, that's hard. That's right. The age, the age doesn't matter. No, you don't see that. As a mother, you don't see age. You just see you caring for him as your son. That was 
that was difficult. The the bachelor and the party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Class wasn't such an issue. Mm. Mm. I don't know where to stand. Are we ready? Yeah. <laughs> good. <laughs> Very good. Did you have some of your friends watching along? Some of your friends sort of checking out what Jared was up to? Oh, my friends. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Mum does have friends. Sorry, I forget. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure she has many. I'm sure she's very popular. Just seeing if if many were watching watching along. Yeah, they were. But one thing, Sarah and I were watching together. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I think you need a bottle to watch a show like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm halfway through, so. Yeah. yeah. You've been doing the sneaky top-ups below. I have. Well, no, I've been. So I, I've been getting my stepmom to fill it up for me. <laughs> and so no one sees me do it. Because, I was trying to work it out. I was trying to work it out how you've yeah. been keeping for, um, for, for 71 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I need to get that one. I'll now. get one. <laughs> yeah, top, top her up, Jared. Top her up, Jared. <laughs> He's a good boy. You're a good son, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> good. Oh, good. See, I need that. Oh, where? I've got it ready. <laughs> Jared. <laughs> no. He's a good man. <laughs> Good man. We're having a very. This is what we do every Wednesday, Thursday night. Oh, I love that. Dinner and family catch up. Yeah, we'll, mm -hmm. we'll, quality we'll, time. I mean, we haven't killed each other. Yeah, that's great. Positive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's actually been pretty good. Good. Oh. Oh. It'll be, uh, it's got to be, yeah. Surely. Oh, hang on. They showed the trailer, the ad break they showed. Them. Yeah, they showed Alicia and Glenn. Why are they giving this away? We lost you. It's my channel 10. Trick. Maybe it's a trick. <laughs> No way, they're so predictable. I want to surprise. Maybe. Maybe it's a false lead. <laughs> Glenn. Oh, shit. Oh. I think this guy's a nice guy. Oh, no, I like him. He's nice. <laughs> I think Alicia and Glenn will do their own private date on In Paradise. Yeah, okay. I think that's what will happen. Oh, no, he chooses Brittany, remember? Yeah, we saw it in the ad. Why? Why can't we fast forward it then? I know, we saw it in the ad. <laughs> Go, Brett. He, he kind of doesn't know what he's got himself into. <laughs> she's a busy girl. She's out of Brit, she's high octane. I loved Brett. She was a lot of fun, but it was kind of like one of those things where she was so intense all the time. She's on all the time. Go, 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 go. <laughs> we used to call her Litney. Mm -hmm. Jamie's upset again, is he? Yeah, I think Jamie's upset. To make sure that I'm Come on, Jamie. Jamie's got this. Jamie's got this. 
Actually, who's going to go? I'll, do you remember how he, um, he asked the question, who would, what's the old stage you'd date someone in comparison? No, did he say that? Yeah, so you know when you sit down and have the dinner and they have the yeah. questions? Oh, yes, no, he, yes, yes. And people like, well, hang on, it's you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he's so funny. <laughs> oh, he's so good. Oh, yeah. That was all of us. We got so sick. My stepmom's looking at the my stepmom's looking at the TV going. Oh dear. Oh no, it was terrible. And the medic comes in to get you into quarantine. Jesus. Oh shit. We didn't have quarantine on my season. And so unbelievably upset. Uh, I need to go to isolation and I can't. Oh, no. This is so Melbourne. <gasps> oh, no. Can you hear that? He got a lot of sun on his chest. I was gonna say it's like you, Jared. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Jared. Jared. It's Jared 3.0 now. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Big chest. It was very hot. I even look at him. Look at him. He is so burnt. Oh no, that's worse than you. That's worse than me. No, that is worse. Not now, but even then. That is worse. He is red raw. James, I'm, I'm known to be a lobster and I don't wear sunblock. When I was in Batch of Paradise, I was red every single day. Bless Jared. Why no sunblock? You, just, you just, know what? No, you were like Glenn. Yeah. What Glenn is now is what you look like and people made yeah. a big thing of it. I, I like if you sunblock. see him. I just don't swim. You're still sort of <gasps> you're still a bit red in winter. Yeah, that's wind. That's windburn. Wind <laughs> Jared, he can't wind out. No, I know. <laughs> that's windburn. I'm not having it. Sunburn, windburn, <laughs> burn. Wine, maybe wine burn. Yeah. I've got wine burn. <laughs> a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> I love my I'm red. Get, I'm getting more wine burn the more I think. No, okay, favourite red, Jared. Tell me. Um, I'm more of a Pinot or a Capsat. I'm a Pinot girl too. Yeah. Love a good Pinot. Not a Shiraz. Okay. Actually, I actually like a Grenache as well. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind a Grenache. I, I do love a Shiraz, James. I'd love to have that. That's with a my, steak or something. That's, mm. yeah, with, with a meaty dish, a bit of duck. Mm. Uh, just a rich mm. meal that I can balance the flavours out. Uh, what's your, what's your favourite, what's your go-to Pinot? Big Jared, what do you... What does, um, what does the red man get on for, for the light reds? Okay, well, for the light reds, see, I, I stick with our Cab Sav because our Cab Sav is as light as a Pinot. And as you. Is it? Yeah, so 2011, it was a very wet season. So the wetter the season, obviously, the lighter and the, the flavour and the uh, alcohol and um, the colour of the wine is actually also quite clear compared to a normal Cab Sav. Okay. So it's, that's what I would drink. So the 2011, your Cab Sav's Pinot-esque. Yes. Can we get the name of the winery, though, Jared, for people that are wondering? Uh, if you're wondering where the Cab Sav, it's a Tom's Cap. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Tom's uh, Cap uh, Winery. Beautiful. Yes. yes. No, really. No, I've heard the best things. Because we, we have a mutual friend, you and I, yes. and he says the wine is amazing. Yes, he does. Mm. Well, mm. I've Loves been it. a friend for a while. Because mm. he's moved the camera. <laughs> have the same mutual friend? Yes, we do have the same mutual friend. Yes. <laughs> but, no, Tom's Cap Winery, mm. yeah. get on it. It's good to go. Normally this would be a bottle of wine, but I'm just trying to get fit and healthy. Good on you. I'm same. I'm trying to get a fit so and healthy. Um, is, is very good, Jared. It's very good. I'm impressed. Well, it's um, the, I mean, being in Darwin, all I drank were beers. And I oh, drank really? Of, yeah. 
Oh, and mum sent me a case of wine as well from Tom's Cat. <gasps> yeah. I was going to say, surely you'd have to have the wine from home. Well, I only went up to Darwin for four days, so I only packed enough to last us four days. So I had about eight bottles. Um, and you still had to have a case. Well, then I got stuck there for three weeks. Oh, okay, right. Yep, yep, yep. Three months, not three weeks. Three months I was in Darwin because I couldn't get Oh, right. Well, go mum. Yeah, need the supplies. Yeah, I know. She's good at getting Um, it. So, mum, I might need... um. I might need some, some emergency supplies. Some... <laughs> <laughs> some emergency Tom's cat. I need yeah, a Tom's cat drop tomorrow. off. That's no, tw- 12, 12, 12 here. Cease. <laughs> well, the oh, best we can, we'll load the van up and we'll just do a yes. tour. Yes. Essential service. It is an essential service. Absolutely, it is. Absolutely. And we can send to Sydney, so we're fine. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Look at how happy you are now. Yeah. <laughs> Double thumbs up. <laughs> oh, this is, I think, this is the start of something. Yeah, these guys are already in love. Look at them. Yeah, you can tell. Like, there's no going back now. Oh, they're going to massage each other. <gasps> That's very sensual. Mum, close your eyes. Yeah, well, that Fuji shower gel is fantastic. Oh, how good. And it smells so good, doesn't it? Yeah, you want to eat mm. it. Mm, so good. Is that like a knock at my door? Felicia's ready to take it. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, she slapped it on. Wow. Oh, she's loving this. I know Alicia, and she would be loving this sick. Oof. Oh! <gasps> Oh, he literally brushed past her breasts. Oh, my God. I love it so much. Sorry, Mum. Oh. I'm so <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry, Mum. Yes, well done. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> it's to be an 8.30 slot, I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. It is past 8.30. That's it is. So- <laughs> It's it's allowed. It's allowed now. On SBS. On SBS, mum. Eleven o'clock. Oh. Yes. <gasps> oh no! Surely that's a kiss moment. Okay, that was a kiss moment. That was a kiss moment. The way she looked at him. She should be gliding on him by now. <laughs> Could you hear that? My stepmom just goes. Surely she'd be grinding on him by now. Oh! <laughs> yes, I ship this so much. Is that coconut oil? It is coconut oil. Oh my god! I just heard about that shit. Yes, yes, yes. Get on there, girl. Yes. I love this. Bravo. Bravo. Yeah. Great. Oh, now they're getting wrapped in banana leaves. Okay. Okay. I've never had one of those. Have you had one of those before? No. Oh, you sweat so much and so. Oh, you don't like it? It's, oh, it's a white, but it's just you, you're covered and you can't move and you're just sweating and you're laying there. So is it, is it a bit, is it a bit like, um. Oh, yeah, oh, get on, girl. Oh, my God. Do it, get on. Yes, yes. Oh. 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 Oh, there is so much chemistry there. So there much. There is so much. Holy shit. 
Gives me tingles. And now we've got Naranka giving Cass a foot massage. <laughs> this is nothing like the banana leaf situation. Naranga's working it for the rose. Oh, Naranga's ripped. This is all real. Mm. Yeah. It's all real. <laughs> I can stand a foot massage most nights when I'm there with it. <laughs> standard. Standard. Stock standard. Part of our life, isn't that what we do? As That's exactly partners? right. Oh, Jakey boy. Jake's a bit lost, I think. He's very lost. Yeah. Don't you reckon? Yeah, he, he needs to go back to needs to Megan. find who he wants. Yeah. I think yeah. I think he and Megan were it was like it was kind of like right place, wrong time. Oh. oh, you're not very nice. I don't think Cass is very nice. She's got a lot to say, doesn't she? Yeah, I don't think Cass is very nice. I feel like it is a projection of herself and she's insecure and I think she needs to stop belittling women and so forth, etc. Because I don't like I don't like what she says. Is it dressed up as a um, Cinderella, or is that the other one? That was Janie. Ah. Yeah. She was on my season. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <gasps> oh, I just love these two. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, bless you. Bless you. Oh, that's my stepmom. Hi, stepmom. Hi, stepmom. Jared. Jay Rock. And Curly. Curly. Hey, stepmom. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. I think he's a bit sweet. He's so sweet. They're both so cute. Yes, because I don't know if you guys know, but her experience last season was with um, Jules, and yep. Jules was very friend zoney, but dangled a carrot in front of Alicia the whole time. And Alicia was very invested in Jules and wanted a relationship, where as Jules wanted a friendship with benefits, essentially. <laughs> yes. um, Quite a conundrum. Yes. Whereas this is obviously a whole different vibe for Leash. Wow. She loves him. Mm -hmm. Yes. Pretty both at the same time. Good work. I love this. Oh. Oh, God. I love this. Okay. How good. Ooh. Yes, say it, Jake. Say it. He will too, I reckon. He will say what he thinks. He's that type of guy. He doesn't hold back. No, nah, he's no bullshit. No. Nah. That's why, like, I hated his edit on his first season in Paradise. Didn't agree with it at all. Well, he got a lot of, um, they got a lot of, uh, I'm looking for, um, mental blank. 
You got a lot of um, air time. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, a lot of air time with Megan and their relationship and the backwards and forwards and then the Megan coming up with them. Yeah, and it was also obviously like the Jake Lawrence. Yes. Yep. Mm. It was all good. Well, because I feel like the Jake Florence thing overshadowed how special the Jake Megan thing was. Yeah. Yeah. Which is which is which is what they're gonna do because it's all about drama and whatever. That um, first season, we had no idea what to do. Uh, yeah. No idea. Yeah, of course. Um, and I mean, going in their first season, you think, yeah, we've got enough upside to this. Did you yeah. guys? He asked me about Cass and Mary in the Ghana talking about Abby. Yes. Uh, did you, yes. No. Yes, we did. No, I did. I did. I saw. I saw the footage of Cass and Mary talking about Abby. And can I just say that I think it is just disgusting. Right. Is this something I need to look back at because obviously I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. So. Um, Standard day at the office, Mum says. Uh, there's there's footage of Cass and Mary. They they're kind of like slut shaming. Um, they're it's 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 disappointing because women should build women up, and they're putting Abby down because you know she's a confident woman. It's actually really disappointing. It's it's bad. Yeah, no, it is. And, I mean, they, they may look at um, Abby and think she's very confident, but you know what? She she will probably, no doubt, have her own insecurities somewhere. Absolutely. Like all of us, though. We all have them. So, I mean, you're going to have a dig at someone for having issues or not being able to mm. be too confident. Well, you need to think in your back of your mind, well, they might be actually going through some shit that they're just not showing. That's right. That's so right. Them on Instagram or TV. And it's, it's almost like there's a way to go about it. Like I feel yeah. like as human beings, you should you, you need it's to show empathy and understanding to people yeah. is far greater than shooting someone down and passing judgment. Like, yeah. and I I think that's it's that whole cancel culture. Like people are cancelling people out for little things that they might do that people don't agree with or they do wrong or mistakes that they make. I just I don't think it's right. Yeah, it's, it's definitely definitely way too black and, and white. I think you guys nailed it. I think you guys both nailed it when you're saying, you know, it, it's more about the person talking than the person they're talking about, you know. Yes, you know, yes. When, there's one one finger pointing towards someone and, uh, you know, three three pointing back at yourself generally. If mm. someone mm. triggers you or you want to judge or, um, you know, lay blame down, generally it's, it's your own issues that are coming up, not uh, not what you're sort of trying to put on them. Mm. But uh, bitchy moments caught on reality TV, that's... Well, it's projection. People project their pretty, shit pretty onto stopping. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Controversial, bitchy That's statements. It. And yeah. when you feel the oxygen. Yeah. When you get people in front of a camera, um, sometimes they are better at explaining what's going on than others. Like, they just feel so comfortable in front of this. There's a lens there. I'm going to tell the whole world. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 100%. If you won't listen to me, those people on that TV screen are going to listen to me. Yeah, them. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's announcing the rose ceremony. Oh, my God. Here we go. It's a big umbrella. Mm. It's probably been raining. It rained the whole time I was there. It's like a double double golf umbrella. A bit excessive for old Osha. Mm. Yeah. Gentlemen, make sure you use your time at the cocktail party tonight. Very wisely. Yes, Osh. You can see your romantic future. If anybody here, make sure you let them know. So you wouldn't want to leave paradise tonight, and you certainly want to leave it in your regrets. I'll leave you to get ready. Sit for a ceremony. Thanks, mate. Clean skins. <laughs> I love that. Thanks. Oh, poor Brit. Oh, he is red raw, that bloke. Yeah. Oh, 
<laughs> where do you get that from, though? That just here is red. Where did he? Yeah. Did he sunscreen from his neck up, or? Or maybe for a one. Uh, uh, <laughs> here's, here's a red guy, the original red guy. Yeah. The red. You're the OG, Darren. Hey, I'm yeah, exactly. I'm allowed, all right? Yeah, I'm, you're, you're, you are. You are allowed. I'm the teacher. I'm the sensei. <laughs> sensei Jared. Yes. Red. Renee with her cat sad. No doubt. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Renee. She adds her favourite red wine as a cab set. Is it? Yeah. Well, because you said, does she have the Tom's cab set? Well, when I went there, that was her favourite. Mm. It would be my favourite too. If it's like a Pinot, it would be my favourite. First time I went to the uh, oh, bar. Do we think, okay, so who do we reckon the clear rose receivers are? So obviously Kieran with Jess. Yes. Yeah, hundred percent. Glenn with Alicia. Oh, absolutely. Can um, I actually don't know who else. Oh, Tim and Brittany. Yes, Tim and Brittany. Clear, clear receiver. I want to know who Alex is going to. Who's going to choose Alex? Because you've got. Yeah. Hang on, you've got a Laura. No, who's. Is it a Laura? A no, Laura. Al Eleanor. 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 So she could either go for Jake or. She's only showing interest in Jake or Glenn. So. Mm. But even after her date with Jake, it was kind of a bit like. Ugh. Are they friend zone though? Like, will she say. I feel like they I feel like she would save him as a friend. Yes. Yeah. I would save Jake as a friend for sure, if I was her. Oh, he's saying he doesn't want it. <gasps> Told you that. Uh, he's very. He's straight to the point. Well, I need a wee break. I can't wait to see you at your bachelor walking. Well, I mean, that's my probably got enough. I'll be back. Time, time, time me. So rejected, bro. Rejected, bro. Jared, mate. Crazy. Madness. Uh, it is a little bit crazy. I mean, I, w I wish the episode was a little bit more intense. Um, but it's been all about their lovey-dovey relationships. How's your, um, your ten play going for you? Mate, uh, I'm on the website now. It's actually a lot better. The ten play app was, uh, was, was a little bit uh, troublesome. The website... Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Good. Nailing it. Much better. I'm all, more, almost caught up towards the end uh, end of the episode. Yeah. I used to love recording it all the time and then watching it whenever I felt like it and then you can fast forward the ads. Yeah, skip through the <laughs> skip through the advertising. So what's um what's the what's the Woodgate house? You got mum over tonight or you got mum's uh, you got dinner with mum for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? Uh, well, it'll be mum tomorrow night, mum and I tomorrow night, um, and tomorrow day is our prep day in the kitchen. So we've got the exec chef coming up and they're doing all the prep food for the weekend. Nice. And then you open nice. the cellar door Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Correct. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we do lunches um, and we're limited at the moment with 20 people in one and 14 in the other. So, I mean, it's still a good amount of numbers. I mean, yeah, we're fully booked every at a time. Weekend. You can do a decent trade. Well, I mean, with the Yarra Valley shut as well, um, and some of the morning to the peninsula, it's kind of forcing people to have no choice but to come towards the Yeah, if you want a drink, come to get Yeah, 
Yeah, well, they give you people, all the people like sail and rose past kale and macro and, and band sail, and they all come down further towards us now. So it's been good. Uh, it's been, um, a bit of a bit of an increase, or uh, well, yeah, it, well, it increased to us being shut for three months. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's basically. I mean, with the numbers we got, we're happy with that. Yeah, because it's we're short staff as it is. Um, and I mean, if you get one staff that just has a sniffle, you don't want them anywhere near it. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're uh, very safe on the. They're not the coughing. Them. Coughing's the um, coughing sort of the new farting, isn't it? You know. Yeah, yeah. You cough in yeah, public. People will judge. Like, Oh, yeah, you know, more polite to fast in public than cough. Two thousand and twenty. Um, well, next we'll be covering our um, coughs up with our fast. That's it. It's true. <laughs> true. I just caught coughs just without boys chat. Boys chat while you're uh, doing what you needed to do there. Do you know I've never I've never farted in front of a partner ever. Really? Not once. Oh. What about no. when you sleep? Maybe when I'm asleep, but I'm asleep, so I don't know. So <laughs> it's not your problem. I don't know. I don't care. That's their issue. That's their, mm. That's yeah. their problem, not mine. Like... For the vibration. <laughs> <laughs> but I've never been the one to you know like lift the leg and be like, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, sorry. It's not sure you're coming. Uh-huh. The males or females, it's not ideal. Do you fart in um? Do you fart in front of people there, Jared, or? Uh, I love this um, I try not to, um, but if I have chocolate, I'm 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 no good to be around the next day. Are you not good with dairy, Jared? Get it. Oh, I'm fine with dairy. It's, it's chocolate. It's, it's the, really. The chocolate. Yeah. Getting back to getting back to Fiji, fairly sort of uh, sort of territory there. Was it was it weird watching yourself back? You're saying you recorded episodes, Jared. Was it weird? Um, what was it like watching watching you in reality? In a constructed storyline that's produced and tweaked post. Um, well, the first time I watched myself, I, I didn't believe that was me. Um, <laughs> I'm like, who I is this understand that. Who is this on the TV um, yeah, this What are you doing? And what are you doing? Like, I, I took my rock. In what sense? Seriously. In what sense did you not believe it was you? Did you, did you just seem so so different? I just, I just looked at myself and I'm like, is that what I really look like? And it actually took me a bit of time. Because oh, you look fine. Really... Some people have that yeah, with their no, voice. I... Like, oh, that's not my voice. I, I, Physically, I like it's yeah, it's it's competition. It's um, making sure. I, how do I explain it? Like, it, it's not me, but mm. it was a different side of me and it was a good learning curve for me to watch myself back, to know where my shortfalls were and, yeah. 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 I would agree with that. And then, yeah. Like, you've got you've to watch yourself back to learn more about yourself. And that's yeah. why I, I've enjoyed being, uh, not enjoyed VIP, but I liked it because I got to watch myself back a second time in a relationship environment. Mm. Yeah. It's almost, it would probably feel like a lifetime of reflection, you know. It's the sort of amount of reflecting you'd do in a lifetime, perhaps, just boiled down into an intense. Little, little well, it's like, a, it's like a pressure cooker in there. Yeah. So it's almost like you see things about yourself that you're like, oh, wow, am I, do I react like that? Do I behave like that to certain things? I don't usually, but because the environment is so contrived, it's hard yeah. to kind of gauge um, if that is how you are or if that's just how you react in, in an environment like that. Yeah, are you overreacting or are you not reacting yeah. enough? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. It's, yeah. Really it's, really that. That it's a big, um, it's a big mind, you know, that messes with your mind. Oh you yeah. Self behave in a constructed environment. Um, and construct a storyline, and yeah, I'm gonna do my head. In. Don't know how you guys do it. It's uh, it's wild. We're, su- we're survivors. <laughs> Survivor group. I mean, yeah. but I, I found that um, my only my downside. One of them was you know, I was in the relationship uh, after VIP that my 
my idea on life is not actually what it was. Um, yeah. You know, so I, I was, I, my head was bigger than my, my shoulders, basically. Um, yeah. You feel like you're, you to feel like you are, um, people want to know about you. Know, you and then you realise that it's not actually the case and then that's not what Yeah, and you're like, about. people don't care. And it's kind of in your own – you get in your own head about it. You do get in your own head about it. And I think it doesn't help when you're with someone like that as well. So you've got to yeah, of course, that, of course. Uh, when it comes back to us, Alex, because we'll, we just – we pull our heads in. Yeah, that's right. Mm. And we learn and we grow. And we and at the end of the day we learn we know who we are. <laughs> yes. Exactly. You go back to you go back to your roots and it grounds you. Yeah, I yeah. think you both sort of mentioned there's points where you sort of lose a bit of the sense of yourself coming out of yeah. shows like this. But I suppose when you refind it and, and um you know, re embrace it, you, you, you know yourself better than ever, yeah? Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. You become your own best friend out of it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, You've got to nurse yourself through it, help yourself out of it. Oh, yeah, because otherwise you just drown. Yeah. Well, I've, I've never been in the happy – like, where I'm at at the moment is the happiest I've ever been. Even oh, that's in, so good, Jared. Good, good that's place great. You go through the show and you're happy, but then you look back and you go, I actually wasn't happy. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. And then you have time to put aside to figure out the differences you've gone wrong and what you yeah. did right. And you finally move on. What's um What's so good about right now? I want to make sure. Have you seen oh. his misses? Well, never. So, um, I'm very happy. Uh, very happy. Good. So, good. Um, but you deserve it, Jared. You do. You deserve it. Yeah, look, I, I've been for a bit to get there. Uh, That's it. Oh, yeah. Yes, you have. <laughs> uh, but I can tell you now, Sam wasn't interested in who I was uh, about a year ago because I didn't even like who I was a year ago. Well, you can only um, find, I feel like you can only love another person if you love yourself. Exactly right. So I feel like you've obviously gotten to a point where you love who you are and you know who you are, so you can actually love a person to the full capacity that they deserve as well. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Um, and, well, we love each other very much, so, yeah. Hi, Sam. <laughs> oh, hi, Sam. <laughs> oh, my God. Yvonne, is Yvonne back? No. Oh. Oh God! I was like, hang on. Oh, that's good. Let me see. I don't know what Brittany is planning to do at the rose ceremony, but I hope that Brittany makes the right decision. Jamie is not a barn. No. <laughs> They're both very different people. Yes. One puts a full avocado in a blender. The other one. <laughs> puts... <laughs> that, that avocado was too much. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'll make some guacamole. Let's throw What's the whole the avocado. The whole through. thing in. The whole thing with the pip and all. The seed. <laughs> I thought I thought that was actually just a like a like a saying oh, no. using. Like she, no, that, that, that's the, him the doing that. Paddock. She's, you know, not the full, not the full wick. Yeah, right. That's, no, he actually oh, yeah. thought that's how you make it. I don't want to do the engaged, so I'm kind of confused of where he's at. Um, can I ask why is this episode going for an extra twenty? And how long's it been going for? Almost two hours. Two hour episode. Oh. Yeah. Has it? It has. It has. Been going it's been going for I don't remember the episodes going for that long when I was on it. Uh, no, Joey, this has never been this long. I told you that it's always oh, no, when you're watching right. someone else. It's because yeah. Jake's got his tweets to put in. <gasps> the next, the next ten minutes will be Jake's speech. <laughs> oh God! Yeah. I think you did one last time as well. 
I like his philosophies on everything he says. It's Jake, have a say. Now, Tim's pissed at Tim's pissed at the back going, oh, oh. There's a bit of sway there. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn, obviously. Who do you think Mary's going to go for? One of the new guys. Yeah, one of the new guys. Yeah. I think one of the and new guys for sure. Cass might go to Ranga. Hey, puppy. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Will you be my Glenn? Yes. Oh, come on, Brick. Get Jamie. Oh, Jake's going to say something. Yes. <gasps> He's going to call her out. He's going to call it out. Do it, Jake. I'm trying to go with courage to say one thing. He will, he'll say it now. He wants to. I'm an out on Jake. He's like bursting at the same time. <gasps> Don't go to an ad break. What the hell is going on? Oh! Oh, I need a pee. Ad break. Perfect timing. I know. Come on. He's going to talk about being genuine. And he'll call he'll call Cass out about not being genuine. Oh, he looks like he's about to have a real tantrum. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna yeah. let loose. And tantrum about to unfold for sure. He will let loose. Which Jake's great. He's very um hard on your sleeve, says so how it is. Yeah, it's a good way, uh good way to live. Mm. Oh my god. Get the latest looks of fashion and beauty from the latest yeah. retailers on eBay. <laughs> I can't see you guys anymore. Oh no, I can see Jared. Oh, Jared's mum. I can see Jared's mum. I can hear you, Kelly, but I can't see you. He's got an ad break. Oh. Ad break, catch up. <laughs> Jared got wee wee. Going down, uh, this is Woodgate. Go nice. What was that? You're all out of wine. You're out of Riesling. No, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's okay. I'll stick with the water now. <laughs> Back on the water. What is okay? Big day tomorrow, so it's fine. What have you got on tomorrow? I'm going to the fridge on the way back. Okay. What did you have? Now, this guy's fuel action believes in both. It works fast. Two ways. It neutralizes the stomach acid and it forms protective Well, I won't be on the waters. 
We get about 10,000 eggs more than this busy here. You get what? We sorry? We get all this busy eggs. We get oh. <laughs> oh, Jared's got his mask. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Oh, mask up, Jared. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna draw some little pictures on there. I'll do that. Yes, do it. Is it midnight tonight? When do you guys have to mask up? Midnight tonight. But not not us. Only Melbourne. Yeah, I've got my mask ready. I've got a like a I told you the Cambridge Bay mask ready. Yeah. Put it on before you go to sleep so you're not breaking the law at midnight. That's it. I'll, so I'll be ready. I'll be ready to go. What's, what have you drawn? Yeah. Whiskers? <laughs> try to draw a whisk. I'm trying to draw whiskers on my mask. Did you know? Arts and craft at the Woodgate House. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, you guys don't. Yeah. We live together, so I mean, we're allowed to do that. Less than one point five. Yeah. <laughs> well, my son gets into bed with me every morning. That's way less than one point five. He climbs on top of me and he's like, "Mum, breakfast, breakfast, breakfast," shaking me. Yeah. Well, like, my okay. mum's not. Me uh, uh, no, I absolutely am not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And he's not getting with me either. No. Not happening. Not happening. Well, see, I never want that to end. Oh. Yeah, you will. Yes, you will. Yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm at that stage where I'm like, I wish, I hope this never ends. Him wanting to jump into bed and cuddle up to me, but I'm sure when he becomes like a teenager, I'll be like, ooh, no. No, when he's, a t when he's like, if he's old enough to walk, he should not be sleeping in your bed. No, he doesn't sleep in my bed. He jumps into bed with me in the morning, goes, Mum, breakfast, and cuddles up to me, but then he gets out. But I love that morning cuddle. Oh, you're allowed yeah. a morning cuddle. Yeah. Yes, it's that's what I get. 35. Not when you're 35, <laughs> it's not right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would just be weird. All right, Jake's going to oh, do it. Oh, Jake, speak. Jake, Jake. It's all right, Jared, just not every morning. <laughs> not every <laughs> What's just he saying? Ladies and gentlemen, Jack May of Legends, the one there, possibility of paradise. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack May of Legends. 
Jamie, Jamie, you got to you got to smile, mate. <laughs> Well, I mean, we know where that's going, but. Yeah, girl. So why not explore that? He just needs to go. Oh. I do drain out these rose ceremonies, I'm not going to lie. They go forever. No, yeah, but okay, we think, they, we think they go forever, but we're when you're in it, you're standing there for so long. Yeah. Well, the first still photo that you need to get oh. takes about five minutes to an hour when people keep moving because it had to be drink. So, you know, Correct. A still shot got people swaying is not easy. Uh, and then you've got to do that three or four times. And then I think yeah. it's what, three hours? Is this, I the ceremonies hope. take three hours, do they? For, all well, the longer. Get, get done. <laughs> wow. Because you've got to walk in, walk out, different kangaroo angle, walk in, walk out, then you've got to swap yeah. sides. Wow. Yeah. And walk in, they, and then I mean, do your still shot. They feel painful to watch, but um, it takes oh, really painful to make. Wow, that's crazy. Three hours of pain. What's, what's oh, who will she uh, choose? Come, um, Brittany. Jamie. Yay! But not You're here. in front of us, Alex. <laughs> How do you get a Jamie. Sorry. Jamie. <laughs> oh, darling. And a slap? Yeah. Slap in the face. You might like it. Poor oh, Tim. See you, Timmy boy. Shouldn't be too sad. He's only been there for a day. I'm so happy. <laughs> Mum, savage. I can't wait to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Next time on Bachelor in Paradise. Well, I wonder when 2021 uh, VIP is going to be. Oh, having those. <laughs> that's, that's a mega. Oh, Jared. <laughs> yeah. 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 She doesn't like anyone. Angry lady. Angry lady. Sit down, Kira. Sit down. Oh my God. Wow. Now that that's my ex, there, James. If you didn't know. No, no, I put two and two together, <laughs> and the awkward uh, sit on the screen too. Of, 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so you guys really needed me on the Sunday show episode, not, not Tuesday mm. night one. Yeah, yeah. Well, the rest is history. It's all she wrote. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we're about to watch unfolding. Uh... <laughs> It was a marathon. I, uh, it was certainly a marathon episode of. Uh, I, that went for so long. That was the longest episode <laughs> I've ever watched. Like I, I don't. I feel like our apps went for like an hour. Yeah, oh. even if they were two hours, they probably felt like an hour. But um, no, well, thanks. We're, guys. <laughs> we're now at nine thirty. It started at seven thirty. That's two hours. Yes. Yeah, but normally they. Um, it's not even a finale. What a finale goes for two hours. That's what I mean. What the finale is going to go for four hours this year? Oh, please don't. Maybe six, <laughs> six hours special. Well, thanks for sharing um, a bit of the behind the scenes stuff too, guys. Good to understand. It's what been it's awesome. Of one of these shows, yeah, it has. what the uh, after effects are, and good to see you both not only resilient but come out stronger and better, and uh, you know more rounded and uh, you know whole people. So it was pretty cool to get to know you a little bit and. Flick through, uh, you know. Good, good to see Jared just comfortably looking at X on uh, on telly with his mum and just pushing, pushing through. And yeah, and good to have a laugh with you, with you both as well. All uh, thanks, Kel. Mum too. It's been uh, it's a lot of fun. Back down. It's been great. We had, uh, we had a good time. Fantastic. We'll do it. Uh, we'll do it again on another takeover. And uh, thanks, thanks for your uh, all the all the viewers, um, all, all the comments as well. We we appreciate your time. Appreciate your uh, you know involvement. And we'll um, yeah let you get back to a, a Tom's cap and uh, you can finish that second bottle of wine, Alexandra. Right. I I have just opened it. So. <laughs> <laughs> a little inkling. <laughs>